yeah um the nhl released what the reverse retros were gonna be and what they're gonna look like uh, they will be available on november 15th you can grab yours or at least attempt to grab it because they're gonna sell like hotcakes at nhlshop.ca or nhlshop.com link in the bio or link in the description below um yeah all right so the reverse retro twos are out that's why i'm wearing my reverse retro one over here in support of my team who has the best reverse retro Genuinely, Man, there we have the might not team. be a debate there. I, I think no that, bias whatsoever. No bias, no bias whatsoever. Genuinely, we have the best one. I'm not a fan of the ones that came out. I think that the, the league could have done a better job with designing them. I will be grabbing the Capitals one because I just I don't know. I always end up with it somehow. But um, any other teams I'm not really interested in. I'll be honest with you guys. I, I'm not a fan of what they released last. Last release was much better. All right, guys, we are back. I apologize for technical issues. I, we had a, we had an issue with uh, our recording software, but um, we're going to get right into it with our top, or actually we're going to bottom three uh, reverse retros. So the worst reverse retro, I think, is Boston. Not a fan of it. I think that if you're going to do a bear, you just might as well use Hershey's kits if you're, gonna, if you're not going to use the classic B. And I don't like Columbus. They're definitely bottom three for me, too. Uh, we all oh, I forgot to mention we all had a slight we all had consensus across all of us that Detroit Chicago were the two worst, so they would not be counting. But um, yeah, anyway, going back to Columbus, I think that the shirt itself is just simply ugly. And uh, my last my my last uh, bottom three is the Rangers. I'm not a fan of the logo they chose. I think that um, the Rangers should always be using the diagonal words down. That is the way to do it with the Rangers because it's simply timeless and whatever logo they have there with the Statue of Liberty is just not it. I know these guys disagree with me. Brian what do you hates think freedom. The, what do you think about the shield logo for the Rangers? Do you like that one or no? I think it's classic. I think, I think it's timeless. I think that it's it's on the equivalency of like the Blackhawks logo or the Red Wings logo in terms of heritage, but I don't like it particularly. I'm not a I, th I think that the Rangers look best when they have the diagonal stripped down, and they should just play around with that instead. Honestly, for me, I prefer the, the Shield logo, Lady Liberty, and then for me, the diagonals last, honestly. I, I know it's sad. Okay. Really, yeah, so well, you'll see what I think about the Rangers jerseys later, but that's that's the one I've got got a problem with out of those three. When, um, when Pittsburgh did the diagonal, Pittsburgh across, I loved it. I think that we should have something similar in Washington. I think that we should have a Capitals down, like Washington down diagonal. I think they look fantastic, and uh, I'd have to be all over it. But uh, Dave, go into your top, your bottom three. Okay, yeah. So that one thing I did want to mention with uh, the jackets was um, they could have done so much better. Uh, we mentioned it during the stream difficulties. Thank God we catched it, caught it quick. Um, they have a couple of different things that Can you know. Work. It's just another. It's just another year where where the jackets just kind of fumbled the bag. Like, you guys have some real real cool um, alternate logos that you guys could have used on the front. Uh, the jacket, uh, jacket, the the bug, their mascot, um, and the cannon, and the old school CBJ logo uh, that reminds me of like R.J. Umberger on the team. Could you Th those like types of. That'd actually be pretty cool. They would have to change the color scheme, but um, like I'm thinking like Sarnia, you know, like Sarnia has some just nice anything color. else. Yeah. Don't be boring. Don't be boring. That's basically it. They're, they're just boring. They're not ugly, but they're boring. Or maybe they're ugly, but they're boring. <laughs> um. So I guess I could get into my bottom three. Uh, I think personally, worst. I know a lot of people will not like this take here. The Predators jersey is ugly. That listen, they normally use that that yellow, but this is like a kind of mustard yellow. It's a bit darker, and their methed up saber tooth tiger, saber tooth predator on the front. Why? Why are we using ugly logos for? I, I get it. It was a part of like their original jersey stuff like that. It looks ugly. So that's the Preds. Next we have. Uh, it's a toss-up for me, but I'm going to go with the Jets here. The Winnipeg Jets. Really? 
They don't, don't know, stand out. They don't stand out. Guys, add some red to that thing, and that thing looks... It's all designed beautifully. Nice, like, okay, if they're fine on the color scheme, but it's just so bland. And I have the same problem with the stars as well. They're just bland. Thank God they got away from their highlighter green. So I'll give them points for that. That's why they're not making this list. Um, yeah. We'll get into the Jets you got after. You points the Jets for not having a little bit of red? Dude, it's fantastic. That's one of the nicest shirts of... It just, uh, for it's, me, it's just like a little bit too, like, basic. I don't know. That's my opinion. But bottom five is and, like, uh, rough, man. Like, that's like, that's yeah. I, listen, there. listen. Uh, next time, don't go after the Leafs in the regular season. <laughs> I don't know. That's not, that, that doesn't come into play. Um, and my final pick is the Avs. They went from potential top tier um, jerseys in the first one. And uh, they went down quite a bit. They, mm, I, I don't have this other team in my in my top. Like when we discuss it, but the New Jersey Devils did your own original team's colors better than you did. Like if you were gonna, if another two teams that were gonna copy homework here, the the Devils absolutely blew the Avalanche out of the water with their state flag. Uh, insignia on the front like j they, they have so many jerseys like that already they have i could count three of them in the past 10 years that they've worn the state flag on like come on guys think of something else could have used the colorado rockies like think something literally anything else other than the I state like flag when, uh, that's just my opinion i like it when colorado does the nordiques that, that's that's when they're best i think hey maybe they could have done that i like the nordiques but like for me it's almost like Keep Overdone. keep this Nordiques logo for when the Nordiques come back, you know? Like yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's coming. I, I don't know. I actually the I was like, you're maybe my top ten, honestly. Like if we had to do like the whole rankings, like I liked the abs. I like the color scheme. They kept the original not original, but they kept the current um striping pattern with the, the mountain at the bottom and the, the sleeving. I like that that shape of the jersey. So I honestly that was one of the ones I liked. Uh, the Jets one pretty met on. I like the color scheme. It is a little bland, but um, to the point about the red ones, like they've done the that jersey with red, and they've done it when it's uh, we saw it against the Leafs, where they wore the dark blues with the red accent. Like they could make that their full time kit. I don't know why they don't just go full time to that that those kits. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's what I got on those ones there. I like the Jets uh, one a lot. Actually, that's really good. No, not for me, it, it, Dave, Dave is right that it is bland. It's it, if you want to give them, if you want to get rid of points for being bland, you can. My bottom three, um, I'll start with what I think is the least bad of these three, and I already know that it's going to be controversial, but it's the it's the Ducks one, that Anaheim what? Ducks one. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but it's so it comes down to one thing with the Ducks one. I hate their current color scheme. If there's any team in the league that is in dire need of a rebrand it's the ducks and i just hate the orange gold and white color scheme i'm not a fan of it at all um i think it was their last reverse retros i think they did like the screaming the flying duck one but that color scheme the the jade and eggplant that's awesome i love that stick with go back to that go back to the mighty ducks logo like i just just get rid of the gold orange and white i hate it i hate it i hate it i hate it the actual design of jersey is good but I, I hate that color scheme. From there, this is another one. Um, the Islanders one, man. I don't like the Islanders one either. I know, yeah, I know. I know. I don't like the Islanders one because, like, they got rid of the teal. Lou Lamorello, like, I'm just imagining, just imagine. You have the, de the designers of the jerseys. Like, we're going to bring back the Fisherman jersey. It's going to be great. It's, like, teal. It's got orange, a little bit of dark blue. They're like, Lou La Lamorello, look. Look at the jersey we made. And he's like, Get rid of all the damn teal. That's that's what this jersey is. They got rid of all the damn teal. That was the fun of the jersey. And it's gone. And you're just left with these half-assed waves at the top there. Like they're just like kind of sort of waves. On the real one, they're like like they're they're exaggerated waves, man. So I think they took all the fun out of it. Like everyone was clamoring. They could these could have been a home run. And they somehow they screwed it up. They screwed it up. So I know that was going to be controversial. This one, I don't know how controversial it's going to be, but the St. Louis Blues one, 
to the, to the Dave's point, uh, Preds ones, like, it, it, you could put this design on, it, like, a ketchup bottle, or not ketchup, a mustard bottle, and, like, tell me that it's a brand. Yeah, St. Louis, you buy St. Louis Blues mustard? Yeah, yeah, it's my favorite brand of mustard. Like, that's what that jersey looks like. Like It could be with, they could be with French's. Yes, exactly. You could go head to head. It's way too old timey, way too old timey for my liking. So yeah, th- those are my bottom three. Uh, Brian, you want to bring us to the top three now? Yeah, um, Caps. I think that we have the best one. I, I once again, be... no bias, no bias whatsoever. No, no bias, no bias. I genuinely think that um, the shirt itself looks gorgeous. We did the. Yeah, I was just wearing it before the technical difficulties. I took it off because like. It's 20 degrees and like I don't have air conditioning on right now and it's getting a little bit hot, too hot for me. But um, we did it in red and it's stunning. And But it was just missing that little bit of like extra retro, like a little bit of extra classic. It was a, a new take on something that was old. I'm glad that we went back to the roots with the, the black stream angle with gold and with, the, with that color scheme. I'm probably going to end up getting it. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I think it looks beautiful. My number two... I'm gonna give it to the Coyotes. Actually, I really, really like the Coyotes. The, they they had the best one last, second best one last time with uh, the with the purple, with the purple um, Kachina head thing. But um, I like I like the desert look of this one. It's kind of like they had like a nighttime vibe with last time with the purple, and they kind of like they have daytime with this one, or like a desert vibe. I, I'm a fan, and I can definitely see people grabbing this one. Like how they grabbed last one. And um, number three, I'm gonna give it to Tampa. I really like the way that Tampa uh, kind of did it with this this uh, iteration of the re- reverse retros. Lo- the logo looks stunning. I like the the font. I know it's a little bit tacky, but it's fun. And I think that's what this that's I think that's what this reverse retro incorporates: having fun and looking good on the ice. Yeah, those are all really good picks, Brian. I can't. I can't fault you for any of them. Um, you know, I, you know what, man? Sneakily underrated. I don't have them in my in my top, but you know they are starting to grow on me, man. Tampa, you know, they really did embrace like the the creativity and the fun that you're supposed to have with these. So I will give them points on that. The They're not going to make my top. The logo yeah, is yeah, fair enough. Man, with the, it's very, very good. I think they did a great job with that one. Dave hit I would. I'm not just uh, saying like it's aggressively '90s, especially that font. Oh, oh, yeah. Man, like that font is screaming at you. I I will say that I definitely preferred Tampa's original reverse retro. That was in my probably my top three last time around. I loved that one. Like if there was a jersey I had to buy out of the reverse retro crop, it might have been that one from the 1.0s. Um, the other teams, their caps. I don't have anything bad to say about the caps, but honestly, like that's a good one. I I, I do like that one. That's probably in my top ten as well. You had the one there, Arizona, um, kind of met on it as well. A little too monotone. I do like a little bit more contrast, but it is unique. So they get a couple bonus points for being unique. Um, okay, so get, I guess I'll, I'll kick off my top three. So to start off, we have undoubtedly one of the best jerseys to come out in a long time here. And I'm very surprised. None of you guys have really even talked about it. But those Florida Panthers jerseys. Oh. <gasps> Mwah! Oh, chef's kiss. I absolutely love the aesthetic that they're going with. Um, it, it also reminds me of in the NBA with the Miami Heat, their city jerseys were a uh, Miami Vice theme. Those are absolutely beautiful. Stunning. I love those colors. Those like light shades. That's what Florida's all about, guys. Like that. Oh my God. And, and the, the logo. Okay, I know a lot of people have a problem with the logo. Because that was their arm patch, or it is their arm patch. It could still be. I, I forget. Um, you know, maybe if you want to change that out for the for the current um, for the current uh, logo, or maybe the old school Panther that they used to have. But oh, those colors just go together like uh, masterful work that they did for the for that jersey. Um, my second. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. It's the Caps. If, if there's going to be another, besides Florida, if there's, like, other than the Leafs, if I'm going to go out and buy a jersey, I'm definitely going to consider getting a, an Ovechkin Caps jersey. I like the way that they blended the two eras, the Screaming Eagle with the 
the uh the, the dc what's that what's that building called the capitol building uh i like how like they kind of blended those two areas together some teams tried to blend didn't go so well see the ottawa senators for that um and my final pick is the Pittsburgh Penguins. I love Robo, like the Robo pen that they call them, those 90s pens. It's like, it's almost like if Cindy Crosby came back as Mario, Mario Lemieux and Malkin came back as Yarmir Yager. And that's what it's going to look like every time that they play this year. Those things, you just can't go wrong with those jerseys. Um, one honorable mention, I have to say, uh, we did mention this leak on our last podcast about the Habs bringing back the Expos colors, those things would have been even better if they had included just a little bit of red. I don't know what all these Canadian teams is with not including red on their logo or on their jerseys. Like it's a Montreal Canadiens jersey and it doesn't have any red. I get it. It's supposed to be reversed colors, but man, even just a little, little, little bit of red, like I would say literally beside their logo, to have red sash, like it looks like a sash going around, you would look like Bonhomme de Neige in blue. Like that's that's what it would look like, basically. Like if you had included just a little bit of red, that thing would have easily jumped into my top three. I don't know who they would have replaced, but it would have definitely jumped into my top three, hundred percent. Well, those are in my top three, so yeah, th- those those okay. are definitely there. I lo- I like them. By I, I don't know, but the red, like I, I get it. Incorporating the red would have been cool. Um, my only pet peeve with them is the color. They go with the thick color where it's the, the dark blue on the light blue. I would have just preferred no dark blue, just, just go full light blue on the color and then maybe like the white trim and that's it. So I don't like, I don't really like when teams go with a full color. Um, it kind of looks like they're wearing like a bib or something. I don't know. I don't really like that look, but everything else about the jersey, love, love, love it. Other than the, the Habs jersey, I do have the Rangers jersey that Brian hates. I love that jersey. If I randomly was walking in New York and came across that jersey, damn it, I might buy it. I might freaking buy it. I don't know who I'd get on it, but I love that blue. That's a beautiful blue. 